welcome to our video edition of Learn with LBSI for the month of July 2021. For this month, we are going to review how to print checks out of SAP Business One. Being able to easily print checks out of SAP Business One can save you lots of time if you have a large number of checks you need to send out. You will not have to worry about manually writing out each individual check for your outgoing payments. To begin, Let's review some prerequisites that need to occur before you can print checks out of SAP Business One. In order to print checks from SAP, you will need to first make sure the AP invoice for the order has already been created for the business partner you need to send the check to. Once you know the AP invoice has been created, you will need to make sure an outgoing payment with a payment means of check has been applied to the AP invoice. If another payment means is selected, then the outgoing payment will not appear in the list of checks you need to print. Furthermore, you can navigate to Administration, System Initialization, Print Preferences to adjust how the checks print. On the Per Document tab, and while you have Check for Payment selected in the Document field, you will notice that you can adjust what the checks are printed on, as well as the maximum number of lines on the printed document. You can also add in permanent remarks on your printed checks. With the prerequisites out of the way, let's navigate to Banking, Document Printing to demonstrate how to print checks out of SAP Business One. Once the Document Printing Selection criteria opens, you will notice that there are several fields that you can modify. In the Document Type field, you will need to make sure this field contains the selection Checks for Payment in order to print checks. If this field contains any different value, you will not see any checks that need to be printed. The posting date from and to fields are where you can enter in a date range to print checks from. This posting date will correspond to the posting date that appears on your outgoing payment documents with a payment means of check. Next, in the print checks dropdown, you can select either to be printed, for reissuing, or check details only. To be printed will display the list of checks that have not yet been printed. This is the option you will primarily use when printing checks since a majority of the time the checks you need to print have not yet been printed. The next option, for reissuing, will display the list of checks that have already been printed and should be printed again. This can be useful if you need to reprint checks for any reason. The check details only option will contain a list of checks that have already been printed and will allow you to reprint only the details of the checks. In the Bank Account section, you will need to select which bank account you will be printing checks from. If the bank account does not match the bank account that was selected on the Payment Means window of the outgoing payment document, the check will not appear in the next window, Print Checks for Payment. You also have the ability to refine the results by GL Account, Business Partner, Customer Group, vendor group, or properties. If you want to obtain the printer settings from the default print layout instead of the printer, you can check the corresponding checkbox as well. Next, you can specify a range of internal ID numbers. And you can also define the from and to date range of the due date for the outgoing checks. Finally, you can specify how many copies of each check you want to print by defining a value in the number of copies field. Once you update the selection criteria window, you can proceed to select OK. After you click OK, the Print Checks for Payment to be printed window will open. If you notice the words at top, the bank information as well as the next check number will appear. This number comes from the next check number field on the House Bank Account Setup window for the bank account you selected. If you need to change the next check number, you can do so, but only to a larger value, since the smaller numbers have already been printed, unless there are previous checks with a print status of not printed. In the main portion of the window, you will be able to select which checks you want to print by checking each entry that needs printed. Once you have the checks selected, you can proceed to click the print button at the bottom. After doing so, you will be prompted to select which printer you want to print from. Select the printer you want to print from and update any printer information and click the print button again to print the checks. 
now a system message will appear in SAP Business One asking if you have the correct stock paper and it will also indicate which check number you will be starting with. After verifying the information, you can click OK. Now the check should print and a check number confirmation window will appear. This window is used to verify if all of the checks printed correctly or not. In the first column will be the print status. This is where you will be able to select either confirmed, damaged, not printed, or unconfirmed. A confirmed status indicates that the check printed properly and there were no issues. Damaged will indicate if the check was damaged during the printing phase. Not printed means that the checks have not printed from the printer. When you use the status of not printed, you will be able to reuse the check numbers again when you go back to the print checks for payment window. Note, you will need to manually change the next check number to the number that needs to be reused. Unconfirmed will be assigned by default and will indicate that the checks cannot be confirmed or verified if any damages have occurred. Please note that the check number of an unconfirmed check can no longer be used unless you change the status to not printed. As a side note, if you have any outstanding unconfirmed checks, you can navigate to check number confirmation, adjust the selection criteria accordingly, and view all the unconfirmed checks for the selection criteria. From here, you will be able to change the status of those previously unconfirmed checks. Back on the check number confirmation window from the checks for payment module, in the check number field will be the check number of the corresponding check. Towards the bottom right of the window, you will be able to change the status of all the checks in the window by selecting the Change Print Status 2 button. Once you select the button, you will be prompted with the four status options that are also available under the Print Status field. Each of the checks in the Check Number Confirmation window will also have its print status changed to whichever option is selected under the Change Print Status 2 button. After you are finished changing the status of each check, you can proceed to update the window to finish the process of printing and confirming your checks. This month's tip of the day can be helpful if you accidentally close your main menu and don't know how to reopen it. If this happens to you and you want to reopen your main menu, simply navigate to the taskbar and select Window, Main Menu to reopen your main menu. You can also press Ctrl and 0 to open or close your main menu. This can be useful if your main menu takes up too much space of your screen and you want to quickly hide it or make more room for your screen. Printing checks out of SAP Business One is an easy way to save you the hassle of manually writing out each check your company needs to send out. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com you're an existing client in need of support assistance.